Greetings, I am Nestorag, and this is modding UFO 50. This will not be a very good tutorial because I'm not quite sure what I'm doing. We're all trying to figure this out. Basically, we need this on the tail mod tool. This particular version linked in the modding guide. So this is on the Discord of a UFO 50 community. And here in the modding guide, you will just find the on the tail mod tool. Install that. And then we'll have this. We will open up the data.win file in the Steam, Steam apps common UFO 50. Better make a copy of it actually. Don't edit this because this uh, main game and it will disappear. All your mods might disappear if uh, they update the game. So just make copies and work off the copies. I have never tried to mod pin golf, but let's see what we can do here. This is a bit finicky, but hopefully I could like, yeah. Here's the bumper, I can move it around. I can press Alt. If I press Alt, we'll make another one. And we can press Alt again, make another one. You can hold Control. Yeah, you get a bit more control if you hold Control. Just go nuts, hold Alt, <laughs> and then try your best to make an interesting level. You could possibly put too much stuff in here. Okay, there seems to be like layers. So this is an annoying thing. If you press like delete, so if you're down here in level three, push delete, it will go back to the beginning. That's very annoying. And there's not an easy fix for that, but I usually just, if I want to delete this, I will select something next to it, then push delete, and then it won't send me back to the beginning. So if you can see, if I delete this little corner here, yeah, it just sends me all the way back here. And so if I instead right click and delete the one, you can't stand on the thing that you want to delete because then the editor will be confused. Hmm. Perhaps these green objects are like stuff you can bump into and these are only like decorations. Move stuff around, hold alt to make more of them. I love ping golf, by the way. So I would love to see more. Oh, also, I can't like, you have to move with these things. That's also pretty annoying, but yeah, it works. So if you change the levels, what happens if I stack them actually? Also, can I like flip this? Is there a flip position? 64, source, nah, probably shouldn't. Do anything with that. Ah, just better find one who's already flipped then. I guess these ones are just background now. Also, what happens if you place something over? I, I don't know. Let's check it out. Just experimenting and taking <laughs> my sweet time. So what happens if I just push Alt and place this green thing here? Oh, okay, so the background isn't even a background. Yeah, okay. That's definitely how it works then. Okay, so everything that doesn't have this green thing is just part of the background, I think. So just push F5 if you want to try it out. I'm not sure if it's actually saving now or it's just temporary. I think it's just temporary saving. You have to actually hit file and save to actually do anything to your win file. It's like compiling all of the games, all 50 games and making stuff happen. So now we're in the modded game and we will start where it's pin golf. There it is. We'll see how it looks. Is this going to be my level that I put a lot of effort in? Yeah, okay. Okay, as I expected, the green ones are just solid objects. Interesting. And I will go straight through these. Yeah, these are now background. Okay, this is very moddable. It really lends itself to modding. So I'm looking forward to seeing a lot of more new levels. Is this, is this still, it is sand. I think it works like sand. Yeah, so the sand is on top of this. So whatever's on top gets priority, I guess. Okay, cool, it works. Then we can tab out and go back to the editor. And yeah, that's just it, really. What we got here? Goal. Okay, we can put the goal wherever we want, I guess. So we can have a secret goal here. <laughs> Don't do that. But yeah, just mod away. Then we got Golfaria. Should I mod Golfaria? Golfania? Was that a working name? Project name is Golf. 
Golfania. Isn't it called Golfaria? So here we got Golfaria. Every everything here is made in Game Maker, so no, I don't know how this works actually. Okay, it doesn't respond. Push too many things, stuff will crash. Same rules apply here. Click things, hold Alt, and if you hold Control, you can move them a bit more. That's it, really. I typed 29 because I happen to know that Mortal has the number 29. Every game has a new ID. Like, Barbuta isn't actually game ID 1. It's the first game in the game, but it's not the first game in the project. So we've got a list for that as well. A lot of stuff happens here in the modding community, so just check here. Also, I got my own modding community here, <laughs> Mod50. We started this like seconds before they open up the channels on the unofficial official UFO50 Discord. So uh, I started this as just I thought it would be a good idea. So we have reshaped this community into making like collaborations and actually mod pack lists. So I'm looking forward to that. We could like try to make mod packs and make a new experience for every single game. That's something to look forward to. As it is right now, it's not very straightforward to like combine mods. So that's definitely a challenge. As you can see, we're working on this. We need like a project handler script and everything. Oh yeah, scripts. You can run scripts. Very useful if you want to like import graphics. This time I'm just focusing on levels. You just click stuff. <laughs> uh, now it's just loading because I double clicked. I think it's responding now. So just be patient. It's all loaded up and I can actually mod the game. I'm holding alt. This works with enemies and background tiles. Mortal is actually easier to mod than ping golf because you don't have to think about uh, background being used or something. There's no background. Everything is just interactable. So yeah, just look around for things that you want to copy. You can control C, go up here, click this little pig fella, control V, and voila, we have the wooden crate. These are actually called wooden crates. I'm not too crazy about the graphic they went for. So in my mod, I'm creating a mod for this. I actually went with a wooden crate and it takes time to load up. Okay, now it's loaded up. And let's check on Sacrifice, or Mortal, as it's called. Game number 29, and he just named it Sacrifice in the project. Okay, here we go. So here's my new level. I've added some stuff, just Mortal, but as you can see, some stuff are changed. Added some spikes. Here's the second level. Don't think you should do, like, crazy stuff like this. Yeah, the, this will be laggy. Yeah, that's basically how it works. This applies for... Pretty much every game, I think. I haven't checked into Rail Heist yet, but that's the next one I wish to mod and make levels for. And the rooms are loading up. Don't click anything. It will just crash. Let it do its thing. Have patience. Like, start to click things and move things around. Oh yeah, this is Grimstone. Uh, let's see if I can find the, like, game ideas. Barbuda is number one in game, but ID 40. So, what's... Rail Heist. There it is. Number 28 in game, but the ID is 13. I just write 13 and I will see everything. Oh, it's called Train Robbery. So the project name was Train Robbery. Okay, we got the prologue here. Okay, I don't know about this. Why is there only like one level? I know that someone is working on a rail heist maker. Rail heist maker. Okay, they are working on Rail Heist Maker, so I will check in on that some other time, I guess. I thought it would be, like, possible to edit in the Undertale mod tool. Hmm, I still call, like, something completely different. Is that number 41? Yeah, Minion Max. Minion Max as well. Minion Max is so huge, so I don't have the courage to change anything in Minion Max because the game is just too big. But why can't I find anything about train robbery? There's only like this one room. Maybe that's why they made this standalone rail heist maker. I will have a look at that some other time then. But now you know how to edit the games. Pingolf! Let's make some Pingolf levels. Okay, good luck. Thank you for watching.